Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video, we're going to continue the hype train from the last update video, because things are, I think, as exciting as they've been since before the six-month anniversary. And honestly, I'm maybe even a little bit more so excited than I was for the six-month anniversary, and I'm going to talk about that in this video, including things like the timeline for Vincent's release and guilds, very exciting things. All of those should be coming this summer. So let's go ahead and review the Japanese live stream that occurred um, last night or early this morning, however you want to look at it. And my boy Tom Rom, I have to give a shout out to him uh, over from my Discord. He translated all of the big highlights from the Japanese live stream and provided them not only to me, but to all of my Discord members as well. So if you are a member of the Discord, you've had access to that uh, for a while now. But big shout out to him because without that, I wouldn't know any of this information. So thanks again, Tom Rom. Greatly appreciate what you do. So for starters, I want to talk about this image right here. This is the roadmap that they showed us. It shows uh, June, July, August, and September for Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. And yes... He did uh, translate this as well. We will be going through all of this towards the second half of the video. But the first thing I want to start with actually is guilds. This is a screenshot that they shared in that live stream of the Japanese version of the guild home screen. Uh, over here, we have the guild bonuses section. And then this third image is the boss section. So a guild or a guild boss menu. And again, uh, translated, we can see that we have a guild menu, the banner and the name of the guild here, uh, missions menu, exchange office, bulletin board menu, and then down here, some sort of bonus or power stat in ranks. And then uh, there's a chat feature, apparently. Uh, we have on this, we can see materia rank, battle rank, chocobo rank, high wind rank, and then some sort of... Um, effect of reducing the number of additional materials required as far as a synthesis bonus. So pretty cool stuff here. And then on this last page, you can see the uh, boss menu and you've got a guild chat, you've got achievements and overall ranking. Um, and then bosses over here where it shows the rank of the fight, difficulty, remaining HP, how many people are participating. So if you've played any other type of gotchas or, you know, uh, mobile games that have guilds, I think this is going to be kind of a similar thing where uh, everybody kind of on their own fights against the boss maybe and then you're trying to do damage to it until you get it all the way down uh, to zero maybe something like that i'm not 100 percent sure but i am extremely extremely happy to actually see that this is imminently coming right it's no longer just a thing that's been up in the air for like the last four months i think from the first time we heard about it very excited about that uh this next image here uh, this is showing um, basically some guild battle rewards, uh, limited weapons and things of that nature. So that's kind of cool. We're going to get more free event type weapons that are associated with guild and guild performance. I think that'll be awesome as well. And while we're talking about guilds, uh, I will be looking to put together my own guild. And it seems like it's going to be limited to 30 people. Anybody who is currently in my Discord has the first invites. Uh, and people who are participating with us in that are going to be the people I look to first. So uh, just know you can come check that out. Um, okay, the next thing is they showed a seasonal event. That's uh, the Japanese title is Summer Begins Peach Fireworks. And I kind of like that. I think it's got a really cool vibe to it. Uh, that should be coming later on. And again, we are going to go through the timeline for all of these uh, in just a bit. But I kind of want to show you, you know, all of the things that they're doing. Now, we know last time we had Aerith and Tifa costumes. And word on the street from the live stream is this time around, they'd like to feature Lucia and Yuffie. So these are like the mock-ups, I guess, of the costumes for Yuffie. And then this one would be the one for Lucia. And I'm interested to hear what you guys think about these. Uh, definitely summery themed. Also kind of badass with the, uh, you know, the ammo and stuff. And so, kind of excited for that. 
Now, the next thing to talk about is Vincent is coming. That almost guaranteed should be the next playable character. At least it will be for JP. And I would imagine that's going to be the same roadmap for global. And that kind of goes along with everything that I'm saying in this video, right? This was the Japanese live stream. I believe they're going to do one for global, but I'm trying to get this information to you guys as quickly as possible, uh, just because I'm excited about it. And I think you will be too, but Vincent's coming and this should be around midsummer. I am extremely excited for that. I've been saving crystals and I think I'm up to like 38,500. So that's pretty exciting um, because I will probably want to pull as much as possible for him, especially assuming they might give him, you know, some sort of new weapon or at least a weapon that's necessary, right? Elemental, they usually like to start them out with something like that in their kit. Lightning would be really good because we have not seen a physical lightning weapon, like single target, I don't think, since Mirasame. So very excited about Vincent. And I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on Vincent, if you're saving for him, or if maybe you're gonna, you know, pop some of those crystals on a earlier banner, because I think there are some other big things coming up before that. And speaking of big things that might be coming up before that, one of those things is a collab with Monster Hunter. Now, again, I don't know the exact time frame that we're getting this. Uh, it would appear to be June and probably pretty early on in June. But here we can see a screenshot of it from the JP version, Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis times Monster Hunter. And the official uh, collab name is called A Fire Dragon Dances in Midgar. And that is pretty neat. And again, we're probably going to see different bosses and not see new heroes, but gear based on or inspired by Monster Hunter. And here's some of the pictures of this. So here we have Cloud's dino armor, um, or I think called the Glavinous gear. And I'm probably gonna butcher a lot of these names, so sorry about that, just kind of bear with me. But if we look at some of these screenshots, like this looks sick. This is, I, the, I mean, this just is amazing. I really, really hope that we get this. I would pull on this just for aesthetics alone. I think the sword looks cool. The armor looks cool. They pair like extremely well together. This kind of stuff here really, really excites me. And I, God, I, I'm like, I am just kind of getting giddy just looking at these pictures and thinking about this collab that's coming. I'm very, very stoked for this. Uh, we can see here, this is what, you know, the in-game notice would look like. And so, I mean, I, you know, it's coming and I'm couldn't be more excited because obviously we all know we've been through a bit of a lull for a while, um, but, but they're bringing it. And I think, I think that they're going to be bringing it harder and more frequently as we go from now on. Uh, it's just kind of a feeling based on some things that I've touched on in, in past videos. And by the way, the name of this sword, I think, or the ability at least is Blade Tame Slash. Um, shows that 850% non-elemental physical damage to a single enemy also moderately lowers the enemy's physical defense and greatly increases physical power of the user when own HP is over 50%. So I think we're going to see another one of those weapons that's doing both a debuff and a buff. So I'm thinking it might even go to like mid-potency defense down, high-potency attack up, uh, physical attack up and obviously 850% non-elemental physical damage to a single enemy that would make this quite a strong weapon and I would be very excited to pull for something like that um, next we have Zax uh, I guess this is called Xeno gear and you know inspired by this thing and I didn't play Monster Hunter so I don't really I'm not familiar with all of these uh, different monsters and things of that nature um, maybe some of you in the comments can kind of Clue me in and, uh, you know, we can get some some better information on that. Uh, but this looks pretty neat as well. Um, and I believe based on this banner, this is up to 940% lightning physical damage to a single target when own HP is over 70% do 1.2 times damage, uh, which would be huge because 1.2 times 940%, I think is going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of like 
1200 ish right 11 something 1180 so that'd be pretty good and i was just talking about that single target lightning damage weapon i think that is something we really need uh, moving along we've also got uh tifas with it which is i guess translates to the draft gear uh, or here in healing here pronouncing that right probably not um but i think i think this looks cool and you know even if it's not my very favorite kit for tifa uh looks wise i like that there's at least a theme and i can tell where they're going with it and it's not just like oh it's easter or it's christmas like something that makes sense like i like the monster hunter vibe going with you know these monsters and kind of integrating them with the costumes and weapons i think that's very cool i think that's something that i'd like to see more going forward and i'm interested to know what you guys think about that moving along we also have Aerith, and this one is the kimura hinoa uh, or translating to quest maiden set and this is what that would look like i think this looks pretty cool as well uh really i do really like the uh the japanese flair that they've put on this and I think that, that suits her pretty well. Um, moving over, obviously one of my favorite people, Kate Sith. He's also getting one. And his is called the Kimura Companion Set. And this is what that would look like. And uh, yeah, I would almost guarantee be pulling for that. And honestly, I'll be honest, if they're going to continue this kind of stuff going forward with this many different things, that would actually make me even consider... Uh, doing considerably less F2P and more like maybe low dolphin uh, kind of spending on this game because this is my main game and I'm getting more and more excited about it as they drop stuff. And I really like that they're uh, starting to do collabs now. We've got guilds dropping and I, uh, you know, the competitive nature and wanting to kind of collect things is is really hitting me pretty hard here. And now, without any further delay, we will go into the roadmap. The translated roadmap. Alright, so in June, we should be getting Crisis Core Chapter 3, along with the Monster Hunter collab, and, you know, all the kind of stuff you get with a collab or an event, and that should be pretty awesome. Then coming into July, we should have the Final Fantasy VII main story, Chapter 7 coming, and then uh, Peach Fireworks Festival Summer Event, and then... Vincent. So I'm expecting sometime around mid July to late July, probably somewhere if I'm guessing between like the 15th and the 25th, somewhere in there, I think uh, Vincent should be dropping and guilds should be dropping around the exact same time, give or take maybe a week based on what I'm seeing here. Um, depending, you know, obviously we don't have this extremely broken down. We just know month by month, but these two things here, uh, Vincent and Guilds, those are the two biggest announcements that we've had in Ever Crisis since the six month anniversary. And I am through the roof with anticipation on this. I can't wait to be able to pull for him and I can't wait to get in here with you guys and start to do more uh, co-op stuff because I think the co-op aspect of the game is something that hasn't been fully uh, utilized or at least you know it hasn't reached its full potential. But it is to me, I think with any mobile game, one of the things that people really enjoy about them is the ability to work with other players. So that is really awesome. Uh, coming into August, Crisis Core Chapter 4. And then there's an unannounced seasonal event scheduled, I think. Um, and then Amu Advanced Stream Unlock. And then Cetra Tower Floor 100 added. Coming into then September, which will be the one year anniversary. Um, and gosh, it's hard to believe this game uh, launched in September. Now, obviously, that's, you know, three-ish months away, but uh, hard to believe. I feel like the, the six-month anniversary just happened. Like, I feel like it was like six weeks ago, a month ago. So, yeah, this is pretty neat. And I feel like they're going to go really big again for the first anniversary, just like they did with the six-month, but probably even more so. So... Uh, as far as saving crystals, uh, you know, uh, I think it's really hard right now because we're going to have this collab. That cloud weapon, the Zack weapon, looked really awesome, and I think that that's something a lot of people are going to want to pull for. However, then you have Vincent coming in. You're going to want to pull for him, or at least I would say a lot of people are. 
But then you only have a couple months before September rolls around with that one year anniversary. And obviously, you know, the game gives a pretty good amount of free crystals. I would say you could probably easily stockpile 30k crystals in two months, but it is a lot to think about. And I'd like to know what you guys are thinking moving forward. And before I close out, one last thing I would like to mention is that the devs also touched on the difficulty of the story. Why this is important is because um, I didn't really think about this except for I got a comment on one of my most recent videos uh, talking about the fact that, you know, there's a lot of players who play Ever Crisis simply because they are invested in the Final Fantasy VII story. And because this has new story content, uh, you know, if you really want to know, you know, for example, uh, maybe how Sephiroth got the way he is, etc., you're going to need to play this story. Uh, but maybe some of those people are either new or aren't really competitive in the game. They don't really care about uh, having, you know, super strong stuff or whatever. Um, you know, they should still be able to progress through the story. And uh, here's here's kind of what they said, uh, was that after discussions with the devs and listening to the, the players' feedback from multiple players, uh, they recognize that the difficulty for some of the content in the main story is unbalanced and that they do plan to address that going forward. The actual quote that they gave was that uh, they feel the main story, this is the quote, the main story should be accessible for new players to enjoy the game too. So for those of you that, uh, you know, are in that boat, I think that's something that's that's worthwhile. And I am very glad that they're addressing that for those of you who, uh, you know, I'll be honest, some of the stuff in this story has been pretty difficult lately. And, you know, you shouldn't really have to be blockaded from knowing what's going to happen in the story just because of the difficulty level of the content. So I, I like that. And I think difficulty balance in general is something I've been kind of harping on. So a big step in the right direction. Well, that's everything that I had for this video. I really am interested to hear all of your thoughts. I know we kind of went long, but I wanted to share with you all of the different stuff that they're coming out with and why I'm excited so that you guys can be excited too. Let me know what you think. Uh, the collab, the Vincent, guilds, anything. I want to hear your thoughts. Also, subscribe for future content if you're not already. If you are, I appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.